monthly recommendations. I haven't done a monthly recommendations in probably a year, and I think I'm supposed to be posting these videos the very first week of the month, but I just stumbled upon this this week, and I really wanted to do this topic. This week's topic is an author that you automatically read or buy. I have a lot of those, so I'm just going to mention a few of them, but if you're interested in doing a monthly recommendations, I will leave all of the information in the description below. The first one I'm going to mention is Ernest Hemingway. I collect all of his books. I have about two shelves full of Ernest Hemingway books. I have a lot of his short stories and his full novels. I also have some biographies on him. And I have his son's book, which is actually autographed by Jack. The first Hemingway book I ever read was A Movable Feast, and it has become my all-time favorite book. His writing is absolutely fantastic, and I just love how he describes everything in his books. His writing is just so unique, and I absolutely love it. I think I may own most of his books, but I am always looking for more. Next is Rachel Joyce. This is a more modern author. She wrote The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Harold Fry, The Love Song of Miss Queenie Hennessy, and Perfect. I have read all three of those books and loved all of them. I do think that she's releasing a book this year. It may have already come out already, so I'm really looking forward to reading that one. She's just a really great author, and everything is just really sweet in her books. The Harold Fry and Queenie Hennessy books are more sweet than her perfect book. Perfect is a little bit darker, but I still liked it as much as I liked the other two. And this is an author that I will keep going back to because I just love her books. Next is Marissa Meyer. I had to put a young adult book on here because Marissa Meyer is one of my favorite authors. The Lunar Chronicles was a series that I didn't think I would ever like. I'm not into a lot of young adult books, but I gave it a shot and it became my favorite series. And since I did love The Lunar Chronicles so much, I have to pick every book up that she writes. I really loved Heartless, and I'm excited to see what other books she writes. Next is Frederick Bachman. He has written quite a few books. He's written A Man Called Uva, My Grandmother Asked Me to Tell You She's Sorry, Britt Marie Was Here, And Every Morning the Way Home Gets Longer and Longer, and Bear Town. I have read all of his books that have been translated into English, except for My Grandmother Asked Me to Tell You She's Sorry. I'm still waiting for that on Overdrive, but again, he is just so descriptive in his writing, and you can really picture everything that's going on. It really makes you feel like you're actually in the book. The characters he writes are just so interesting, and you just want to know more and more about these characters. I did have a problem with Beartown. I really didn't like that book, but I have liked all of his other books, and I'm excited to get to his other book. Next, I'm going to mention Peter Heller. I discovered this author because he actually lives in Colorado, and he talks a lot about Colorado towns in all of his books. I actually read The Painter first, but he's actually well known for The Dog Stars. But reading The Painter, I realized that he writes exactly like Ernest Hemingway. He actually mentions Hemingway a lot in his books, which I find a little funny since he writes a lot like him. I'm actually going to go to an event next month to go see him and hopefully get his autograph, and I am so excited. Okay, so those are just a few that I automatically buy. There are so many more that I automatically buy, I really have a problem with that. But let me know if you like any of these authors and which authors that you automatically buy or read their books, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!